everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my fourth attempt filming this intro because there's a dog barking outside that doesn't want to seem to move or stop barking. So if you do hear that, I apologize in advance for the background noise, but I really wanted to film this video and get it up for you all. Since I didn't vlog my trip to Punta Cana, I wanted to show you my outfits that I wore on the trip because I got a lot of feedback from them on Instagram. Everyone really seemed to like them and want to know more about them. So that's what this video is going to be about today. Half of it is like new in swim that I got and then half of it is kind of beachy evening looks, so what I would wear when I went out to dinner at night. We stayed in an all-inclusive resort, so it was pretty much like pool, beach all day, and then dinner at night. That was what we did. There weren't really any in-between outfits, so anyway, that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you what I wore, and then I'm also going to show you the ASOS package that did not make it in time for me to pack on my trip, um, which I'm very sad about, but I love what's in here. So anything that is also still available online will be linked down below in the description box, and anything that is not available, I will always put something similar down below in case you want to shop the style. But let's start off with all of the swimwear that I did wear on my trip. So let's start off with kind of the piece de resistance of this trip that you all loved the most is this orange bathing suit from ASOS. I ordered this in a size US 4, which fit me pretty well. I probably could have gone up to the 6 just if you want a little bit of extra room. If you're a fuller bust, I would also recommend sizing up in this, but other than that, it fit pretty well. I loved the ruched detail here and the cute little bow ties up here. And this was just one that everyone reacted amazingly to also on Instagram. Like, it's kind of just such a statement piece. You don't have to think too much about it, and it's perfect for kind of that first day out in the sun. Next up was also from ASOS. Um, I bought this one last year, but I will try my best to find something similar online. It's from a brand called Playful Promises Beach, which might be an Australian brand. I'm not fully sure, but basically um, the top is this white kind of ruffled top, and it has this little detail on the side of the bathing suit as well. And then I actually think I ordered the bottom, yep, from a totally different brand. This bottom is from Le Palm, but it was just a plain white bottom to match the top. This was one of my favorite swim looks that I got to wear on this trip also. Um, I also wore it last year when I was in Miami, and it's basically just an adorable white bathing suit. I have another one-piece swimsuit. This one is actually from Sun Lab Swim, which is a brand carried exclusively at Target, and I wore this suit to my trip as part of a collaboration with them, and I love how it looks. I think it's so retro but the cut of it and the little cutout right by the stomach area here keeps it really modern looking and I just enjoyed wearing this one so much. I'll of course insert some photos so you can get a better sense of what this actually looked like on. This one also has the little boob inserts which have since moved since I washed this um, so just something to be mindful of like make sure that those are laying flat when you have them. I also got this one in a size small, which definitely fit me well, and it also has a tie detail in the back so you can kind of loosen it up a little more. This next bathing suit also got so many comments on Instagram because it's actually from Amazon. I was terrified to order a swimsuit from Amazon because I've never done that before, but when I realized that ASOS package wasn't gonna make it on time, I decided to place like an emergency one day shipping order, and this is it, and it came out so cute. This is what it looks like. It has all of these colorful stripes on it, which makes it so cute. It also had the boob inserts, but since the front part of it is lined, um, I took them out because I didn't feel like they were necessary, and since the top was just a tiny bit small on me, I wanted to give myself the extra room. Um, everyone on Amazon, um, I'll put the Amazon link to it down below, all of the reviewers suggested sizing up in this, so I just went for a medium. Um, I think it's from one of those, like, Chinese companies where the sizing is a little bit iffy, so definitely always read the reviews if you're ordering something on Amazon. They're obviously very detailed and very helpful, but yeah, everyone just really seemed to love this suit, and I did too. I definitely can't wait to wear this more throughout the summer. So that was everything that arrived on time, and now I'm going to show you some of the stuff that didn't make it, but that I'm sure I will get a chance to wear over the summer. <gasps> is the dog leaving? Yes, dog, go bark somewhere else, yes! I feel like I've just regained control of my entire life in this moment. Um, anyway, though, so this next one is a bandeau top and a high-waisted bottom, which I'm gonna have to try this on for you guys, and I'll put it down in the description box what I think about it, but this is the bottom. Um, so upon first glance, it looks a little diapery, but I saw Rachel Martino bought this one, too, um, for her trip to... 
told you maybe like a while back um, and as soon as I saw this I totally fell in love with it so I was like maybe I should just try it out for myself too and then this is the little top that comes with it it doesn't have the um, boob pads in it is there a better is that inserts or something what do you guys call that comment in the description box what you call it but yeah so it has this little piece in the front like the bow that kind of flaps over I'm usually not a big fan of chevron um, in my mind it's just very preppy but when I saw this it just felt a little more boho a little more playful so I was pretty into it um, um, the back also has this type of closure so it's much more like a bra um, if you're into that it seems like it would be a little bit more supportive even though it doesn't have the inserts in it and then yeah this is the bottom in the same fabric um, with the same little detail here I just really liked the colors of this like I don't it's really not something I would normally gravitate towards but when I saw it I just kind of felt like it was something I really wanted to try so I'll definitely try this on and let you know in the description box how the fit is um, this one I got in a size US 6 Okay, and then another swimsuit that did not make it on time is actually super similar to the white one now that I'm thinking of it, which is probably what drew me to it, but it was this red bikini, and here is the matching bottom. This fabric is almost very silky looking, and I feel like that kind of made it look more elevated to me, just as someone who you know, swimwear can kind of look inexpensive really quickly depending on where you buy it from. So I'm always looking for something that makes it look a touch more like elevated, just a touch more sophisticated in itself. So this was one that I just saw and I thought it looked great on the model. Honestly, ASO styling is always so good. And then the bottom is like a normal low cut bottom and you can see you've got the ruffle details on the side, which I really liked. And I also got this one in a US 6. So this is the thing that I was most bummed didn't show up on time um, because I was totally just picturing myself like margarita in hand watching the sunset like this dress had a story and I was ready to tell it but anyway hopefully I'll get to wear it soon okay so this is a halter like tie neck dress and it is kind of in I guess it's almost like a mustard yellow, but it feels just more like a golden yellow to me. I just saw this and was so obsessed with it. Um, I'll insert a photo or a cutaway of me trying it on so you guys can kind of get the full effect, but it has kind of this lace detail at the trim at the bottom of the hem. It also has a slight like V in the back of the hem, um, which I think is more flattering for midi dresses because it gives you a little bit more movement and all of that. And yeah, so I was so bummed this one didn't show up on time, but if I don't wear it um, to my next beach destination, I could totally wear this out to drinks in New York over the summer. I loved that it was versatile like that and it's one of the things that drew me towards it. Let's move on to what I wore out to dinner. So the first thing I wanted to show you is also from ASOS and it should still be available so there will be a link down below if there is but it's this polka dot dress that you guys would have seen in my January new in haul. So it's like a t-length dress. The skirt part of it is pleated. This is the zipper so you can get into it really easily and I just loved the ruffle detailing up here. Um, I have it over this part of the hanger so that it doesn't slide off but that is kind of what the sleeve detail looks like and it has a square neck. I just thought this was gorgeous and would fit right in with the palm trees and everything at our resort and I was totally right so so glad that I got to wear this one while I was down there. Another dress that I bought on a whim a couple of years ago at Forever 21 for like $23 or whatever it was that I still wear all the time is this floral dress. So it has these little stretchy, wow, <laughs> whoops. It has these little stretchy armholes on it so it sits off the shoulder and it just looks gorgeous. Like I think this kind of silhouette is really flattering on pretty much everybody and it's a maxi dress with a little slit on the side so that when you walk, um, you know, there's obviously breathing room for your legs and it kind of flows a lot more. There's also a side zip right here and I actually have a whole blog post about this dress. Um, I'll link it down below and I will definitely try to find a similar option to this because it's just amazing. Next thing up that I wore to dinner was my sample sale find from the Reformation sample sale. It's this wrap dress. Um, I didn't take a photo of it while I was down there, so I'll share one now that I took with Sarah back when we were shooting in New York over the summer. This is just one of those dresses that I saw and was like, it's an occasion dress, you know? Like, you just want to go to a nice dinner and feel dressed up and enjoy your night and evening when you're wearing a dress like this. And I think these kind of wrap dresses are so fun for summer and it just made me really happy to have an excuse to wear it. And last but not least, I wanted to share this gorgeous one from Silk Laundry. It is totally wrinkled because I took it out of my bag only the other day, so my B right there. But it is basically a kind of midi length also slip dress. I just was so drawn in by the color. I love like the 
little v-neck up here it has adjustable straps which is always a plus so that you can kind of make it however you want and I think this is the first thing I've ever owned from silk laundry so I was definitely excited to bring this one down to the beach with me okay, and there you have it you guys I hope you enjoyed this haul of seeing some kind of new in stuff and older pieces from my wardrobe that I brought down to the beach with me I had such a nice vacation and feeling so well rested and like prepared to kind of take on the rest of the colder weeks here in New York before we actually hit warmer weather, but I hope this gave you some inspiration either for the upcoming warmth or if you're planning a trip anywhere or if you just want to buy some swimsuits and stock up because who doesn't just want to do that? If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as one. Um, you can just hit that red button right below the videos that will notify you every time that I upload, which is every Monday and Friday here on my YouTube channel. And please do give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or got some inspiration that really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Thanks again for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!